is Tomahawk, and welcome back, guys, to Bigger Little Thoughts with me and the sock Ready. carrier with feathers in. <laughs> All right, tea tapper. <laughs> a, a, a cup, <laughs> cup tapper, actually, not the tea. Cup tapper. Oh, cup tapper. I need a cup. I need props. Props. That's like a, a new a new name, like oh, he's a right cup tapper. He's a cup tapper, lad. Love me. <laughs> But anyway, we are in big and little thoughts. We did not get distracted. You've got to do do the. You've got to announce what we're talking. And about. this week, everyone, as Ned is reminding me, it is my job to commentate on what we're doing in such a announcing way. This week, we are talking about drumroll, drumroll, jelly beans. Yay! Finally, it's happened after many weeks. <laughs> now we're talking about Christmas. Yay! <laughs> Christmas! So it is the week of Christmas. I hope you're all just as excited as I am. The Christmas decorations are out. Not in here, but not. It's all festive. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's Christmas time. Okay, that's enough. There's no need Mette. to be afraid. No. Sorry. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Da, da, da. I'm getting one of those veins on my forehead. I'm done. Right. I'm done. Okay. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Jingle bells, jingle. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No more. No more. We what is your favourite part of Christmas? Not listen. Is it the music? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get this out there right now. I am not a grump, right? I would, I would, I would. The Grinch, I'm not Tommy Grinch. Oh, Tommy Grinch, Tommy. <laughs> right, okay. I worked in retail for 12 years, right? And you probably many of you guys can tell, right? As I've mentioned many times before, I listen. Tom, we'll get on to this. We're talking about it, Christmas and our job. I want to get it out there. No, you hold it in. Everyone will think you're a Grinch until then. What is your favorite part of Christmas, Tomahawk? That was the question. Spending time with family, eating lots of food, and opening presents. And smelling the tree. <laughs> yes! No, that's a really good one. I'm on about a proper tree, not a plastic smell. one. You don't go. No, yeah. Mm, the smell plastic. of Christmas is magical. Yes. Christmas smells. I, oh, I can't think of a favourite part. I think it is like the get. Like, in our house, like it is very much we spend Here the whole day go. together. The whole day, and so it's kind of like we don't watch films or anything. Like we literally just spend the whole day together. You don't watch I films? No. Queen Speech? No. No. Really? We always watch never the Queen wa Speech. I've never actually watched the. My Queen grandma speech. used to always make us watch the Queen Speech, so we always did. Yeah. No. I think it's just that I just like everything about it. Like we always get a new joke every year that we bring up the next year. Like something will happen, and that will become like the meme of. Oh, Christmas. do you remember it's last? A bit like in some. Do you remember last year when when. When the cracker didn't go off. <laughs> no, but it would just be like. Remember like last time, year right? when Nettie when got nothing except coal? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, but it's like one time and um, we were having Christmas like breakfast. We always have a massive breakfast on Christmas for some reason. Really? And then. Um, yeah, it's uh, our family, none of us eat very much. We all have quite small meals. We don't eat that often. But on Christmas Day, <laughs> we have a massive like, cooked breakfast. Then we have Christmas dinner. And then we just snack all day. But yeah, we um, were having breakfast once. And there was like some sausages left. And my mum was like, go on, Joseph, have a sausage. And he was like, oh, I'm all right. And she was like, go on, have a sausage. And then that became like now, every year, we're all like, oh, go on, Joseph, have a sausage. Like... <laughs> It just sort of became a joke. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of thing. So I can imagine after this episode, <laughs> it's gone from Napoleon Dynamite to everyone going, go on, Stampy, have a sausage. Have a sausage. He's going to hate you so bad. It's like, where is everyone getting? Oh, I really wish I could have put that clip that you sent me of Stampy in one of the videos. The Napoleon Dynamite. Thing. Oh, it's yeah. So when um, Stampy found out about... Um, I had revealed the Napoleon Dynamite thing and because he got tagged on loads of stuff on Twitter, he sent me a little video clip of him being like, gosh, like, like Napoleon gosh. Dynamite. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. So now so sausages. Tom, sausages. Go on, have a sausage. Have a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> when, do, when do you put up decorations? Um, when I was in my mum's house, we used to put them up like pretty early, like, like either the first or second week of December. 
Because we like to be festive, like the trees. I are, think, yeah. Like it's smelling Straight of Christmas, lights, lights, all that kind of stuff. Uh, at Squid's house, it's kind of pretty much the same, actually. We haven't got a tree up. Well, we, yeah, we have a tree up now. Um, but yeah, it's normally like the first or second week, really. As soon as possible. Yeah. Some people put it up before yeah. December, which I think is a little bit cricket. No. But, no. you know, whatever. I think. Whatever you want to do. I think the first of December is a nice time, but we we were never allowed to do that ah. because Stampy's birthday is the thirteenth of December, and we had to wait until after his birthday to put up decorations. And what makes it even worse? Mm. So, say if his birthday was like midweek, mm. so he would be celebrating his birthday on the weekend. We would then have to wait until after we've celebrated his birthday. So who knows what day it could be? Sometimes. Oh. Sometimes it could be the sixteenth, seventeenth. Pretty much Christmas Day. Because you oh, can't yeah, get we a always... Christmas tree on a weekend. Well, no, because like, say if he was having a birthday party, right. we can have Christmas decorations up for his birthday party. But wouldn't he have his so we birthday have to wait party until on after his birthday. Already have, always have his birthday. No, because say if his birth, say if his birthday was on like a Tuesday, he's got school and stuff. Right. So his birthday would then be the weekend. Right. And then. Fair enough. We would have to wait. When do you take them down? January. Yeah like kind of I would say like a week isn't there it's meant to be like if you take it down Probably. after the 10th or 11th is yeah, it yeah, 10th, 10th. Yeah. it's meant to be bad luck yeah, but um I am um, <laughs> when I my friend Zoe who um she's moved to Jersey now but when I used to live with her we had a Christmas tree up and it was a plastic one and we just never took it down. We left it up all year round. Oh, it was yeah. so cozy. Oh, yeah, it was so cozy. It was like the little lights and everything. It was lovely. Yeah. That's a bit Felt weird. Felt like Christmas all That's a bit weird. <laughs> what is your typical Christmas dinner? Uh, oh, Christmas dinner. Uh, yeah, so you got to have um, turkey. And you got to have uh, all the veg. And you got to have uh, roast potatoes, roasting goose fat. And you gotta have the little sausages mm. with the bacon wrapped in, and you gotta have the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Do we have Yorkshire mm. puddings on Christmas? I don't really remember. Parsnips. Yeah. Um, oh, I love parsnips. Parsnips. Oh, we always have. Yeah, honey, honey roasted parsnips. Well, we always have a Christmas pudding, but I don't mm. eat it because. I don't, but it's fun to set on fire. Because when I was a child, and I blame my parents for this, <laughs> That uh, it, it didn't set my hair on fire. That's not what happened. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what basically happened oh, was God. during during um, like January, February, March, April, all that thing. My dad like stocked up on Christmas puddings, so we'd end up having Christmas uh, puddings for pudding, at, not at Christmas. So I got yeah, to a point and I was like, ain't got nobody got time for Christmas pudding no more. I stopped eating it. Now over Christmas, I have a little chocolate pudding. Um, so I still can't taste Christmas pudding. Yeah. And uh, we always have a cheese board. You gotta have some Wensley Dale. You gotta have some nice cheese and crackers for after. And you have crackers no. to pop. Yeah, crackers. Yeah. Um, our Christmas dinner is all your typical stuff, apart from what we've actually had in later years. And I, I know what everyone's gonna say. They'll be like, "What? That's crazy." No, I wouldn't believe That's it without the Garrett family. <laughs> but. We actually haven't been having turkey. What? I know. What have you been having? That's what, that's what most people would say, but weirdly enough, what we have instead is just as delicious, if not more. We have chicken, with, and we stuff it with stuffing, and then wrap it in bacon. So you get like a chicken breast and you flatten it, put loads of stuffing in. And then you wrap, hold it all together with bacon and cook that. And it is amazing. The stuffing goes all gooey and juicy in the middle. The bacon's all crispy and lovely. And the chickens, chicken's tender. Sounds interesting. It's really good. Sounds I'll interesting. Take, I'll send you a picture this Christmas and be like, what? Chicken stuffing and bacon? <laughs> <laughs> My mum's a really good cook. And so she always like she she always like comes up with different stuff, and it's always like, oh, sounds like pretty that. good. I like that combination. But she's very much one of those cooks that like 
if you sometimes if you ask her afterwards like oh like so how did you make that like what are the quantities and she's sort of like very much uh, like we'll throw that in there and that in there like mix it in like mm, add this in add this in like she just sort of like makes it up as she goes along but she knows combinations well it's delicious <laughs> <laughs> do you have any christmas traditions um we used to when we were kids my grandma used to live next door to us when she was alive i think this was pretty cool um uh, we used to go around to hers every christmas eve for mm. like all our family used to be around and we used to like like even when i was working and stuff we'd like finish work and go there and we'd pretty much be there from like two o'clock in the afternoon until like um kind of like seven eight o'clock yeah. nine o'clock at night just be there watching christmas films with my cousins eating lots of different food my grandma always used to do so much she used to make her own christmas puddings in the cellar Ooh. in like bags and stuff that's um, cool. So it always used to smell very Christmassy. So we always used to do that Christmas. That used to be my favourite, going around mm. to my grandma's. And then um, and then on Christmas Day, she used to come round. We weren't allowed to open presents until she came round, which is only next door. I was like, why is she taking so long? She's only got like... <laughs> Uh, Did you not go round there? But like, come on now! No, no, More Christmas well, she, to no, start. She, she always used to go to church. She used to, uh, so we'd have to wait to get back to from church. So um, then, we, yeah, we'd open up. We never used to do the whole opening presents up before. It was always on Christmas. We never did it before. Yeah, no. We were allowed to open one Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, one Christ- present Christmas no, Eve. I, uh, no. No. Like that was under the Christmas tree from like say if like a friend from school had given us a present. Right, right. So not main presents, kind of like. No, 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 no. Right, like right. from like, like one that Dave, was like down under road the tree. Dave changed from, your dad's tire that one time. From like family friends and stuff. Your aunt, right, your auntie Sue, who well. was not really auntie, because does what aerobics with her on a Wednesday. It's <laughs> great. <Yeah. laughs> but yeah, sorry. Carry on. No Christmas presents before Christmas. Yeah, no Day. Christmas presents. Um presents on christmas day then we would ha- get up at- we wouldn't really have a big breakfast so kind of like a normal breakfast and then uh open presents then go off do our own thing and then come down maybe watch a film have christmas dinner and then the queen's speech even though like if you don't know what the queen's speech is spoiler alert the queen gives a speech every christmas day about what's happening in the year and stuff like that if you're British, it's very British, and if you're not British, you kind of like what she's talking about. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, we just kind of just like just chill out and yeah, just hang out really and eat loads of food all day, pretty much. It's pretty much it. So, some of our Christmas traditions have kind of developed over the years. So, one of them is we always get our stockings and go and sit in, a, in my sister's room, and we sit on the bed and we take turns opening the presents. So, Stampy would always go first because he was the youngest, then me, then our sister Rachel, and we would just go in a circle until the presents run out and then my parents and that would be getting ready and we'd be like come on let's have breakfast like we want to get in presents and then they would come down and we'd have breakfast but we weren't allowed in the front room until everyone was there and ready and we'd all go in together <laughs> and we had like these double doors what is this what? like the birthday room scenario all over yeah again? it is it is <laughs> apart from there would be like Tinsel. we had like these no, yeah. No, but you know we've got like double doors yeah. from our kitchen into the front room, yeah. and it's like kind of like frosted glass. And we'd always try and peep through and see if we can like work out shapes and colours. And there's like a slight crack. And my parents have like photos of us all like dotted down the door, like peeping through the crack. And then, um, and then we would go in and stuff. But we've now got some new traditions that have developed over the years. Okay. So we do the conger of age into the room. So we stand in age order. The what? The conger of age. The conger of age, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. We go, it's got it's to be go, better than this. Come on. Now it's going to top conger of age. Go on. We go like, da 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 age, da 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 age. And we stand in age order. And so last Christmas, Squashy joined us for Christmas. And she was the youngest. And so she was the leader. And she went crazy. She took us all around the house. She didn't just take us into the front room. But we had to follow because she was the youngest. And then the other one is we cheers the Quick question. Conservatory. Quick question. Yeah. Again, just bear with me on this. Say in a couple of years' time, to say if either you or your sister or your brother have children. Hmm. However, do they get to leave a Christmas conga line? The age conga? You just hold the baby out, don't you? Just hold it out so it's in the front. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
that's strange about that. Did you Obviously, say, it's did you Nick. Just a baby guy. <laughs> 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 oh, wait a minute, he's pooped, he's pooped, wait a minute. Nappy, nappy, nappy. Chi, 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 chi. Come, go, come, go, come, go. Okay, carry on. Okay, right, and then. <laughs> and then we would do presents. Like we'd have all our, our presents, Santa would always leave the presents on the sofa for us. So we'd do those presents and then our parents would give a present and then we would give our stuff. And then my other nan would always come over and then we would go to have dinner and then my auntie and uncle would come as well. And then we would play games for the rest of the day. Oh, my dad would always, he always like still now every Christmas, he'll light a fire in the front room we have a fireplace not just a not random just fire <laughs> may make fire <laughs> and like no matter how hot the house is we have a fire on christmas day because it is part of christmas but yeah right so what games do you play not the uh limbo do you no. <laughs> We don't really play any games. We just kind of. You don't play charades. No. I've got a cough. One second. <coughs> like when we were young, when, when, when me, a little lot. When we were younger, me and Squid, like if we got like a gaming console or a new game to play for yeah. Christmas, we just go and play that. Um, we don't really do like parlor games. We no, we just don't really do it. I think no, no, no we just don't do it. We're not one of the families. We always play charades. Yeah. Always play taboo. Which is that you know taboo, don't you? You played that round us. You just poo. No, it's uh, my hand. Well, I'm, swinging my <laughs> I'm swinging. I'm on my Christmas chair. And my finger. My and desk is like she wooden. Made and it's a little like... cheek squeak. It's no, Christmas it makes time. it listen. <laughs> and she made a little listen. cheek. It's because my room's so hot. My dad probably lit a fire. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> We've all found out nitty poops. Sometimes. No. no. Places return for Christmas. <laughs> Best Christmas Let me ever. tell my. Best I Christmas ever. Let me tell my game. Let me tell you about one spot. One spot. Yeah. Just one spot. So Should you, have that looked everyone, at. Everyone. <laughs> no. Everyone sits in a circle. All right. And everyone gets given a number. So you'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. And you get a cork. And you burn the end of it. So it's black. You blow it out. Right. And then it's so it's black. Right. And then it, you take turns. So say if I was one spot and you were four spot. Right. Or it'd be like one spot has no spots. How many spots has four spot got? And then you would have to say four spots got no spots. How many spots has seven spot got? And then it, you go round. But if you muck up on the words or if you go, say, if you went back to me when I'd gone to you, you then get a spot with the cork on your head. So you get a big black mark on your forehead. But then you would then say I've got one spot, so you'd be like one spot has one spot. How many spots has seven spot got? Until you get three spots and then you're out. And then if you go to someone who doesn't, if you if you were out and I went to you, I would get a spot because you're out. So you've got to remember who's out as well and what number they are. Mm. <laughs> there was one time my nan fell asleep when we were playing. It. I can imagine why. <laughs> she, <laughs> and she was five spot and um she fell asleep and then um it would go to her and i would just nudge her and she would just wake up and go five spot has no ah. spots, how many spots? <laughs> but yeah that's good that's a game we play what is the best present you have ever given my heart <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, that's totally like. <laughs> Last Christmas, Christmas I gave, gave you my heart. See, see what I did there? I'm, I'm secretly the inputting Christmas day. songs in. Gave it. It's not a Grinch, really. No. Um, best, best present I ever gave. Well, that's a tough one. I have no idea. I am really not sure. It's really bad. You always put me on a spot. I don't know. You go. You go. Um can think of two just because of the um um the i can't think of the word oh, yeah. the execution of it okay um so basically i'm really bad if i've bought someone a present i give away what it is all the time yes you do and i'm really really yes, bad at it you do. and <laughs> every year i bought stampy converses for a while 
and then um if so every year it would like pick up the box and be like oh like what's this like oh is it converse like it was like a joke but like so one time <laughs> i got a different shaped box i got a teeny tiny box right. which obviously converse doesn't fit in but inside the box was a note and so basically there was a game he played and it was like stan or something where you're like this office worker and you can kind of go around the office and do different things so you can click different selections it was like you decide where to go and then there will be like another thing said okay. so everyone who plays the game it's different but they're like kind of quite comedic and silly things and so basically i put post-it notes all around the house and in all the cupboards and all in different places with different places for him to go dependent on so basically every route was covered where he could go which would lead him to where the present actually oh, was cool. and the shoes were tied to a tree in the garden above a massive puddle <laughs> and he had to like, go and get them that's great i like that <laughs> but it took ages and then with my parents we got them Darren brown tickets oh sweet and so um how we did it was we had like a little video clip and we gave them different challenges around the house so like in my dad's study they had to um to get the next clue they had to put their hands behind their back and get on their knees and eat a string of strawberry laces tied together to get the next clue <laughs> there was all quizzes and stuff and in fact that's where the conga of age started because christmas day we had to do the conga around the garden to get down to the bottom and then they got their present i'm gonna look really stupid here not know what to say so let's move on to the next question my mom's probably like <laughs> how do you not know oh wait is this is this a, the best present i've given someone um, yeah. I'm not I'm still not sure. What's the best present you've ever received? Oh, right. Okay. This is a good story. Okay. So, me and my mum have always done this thing since I've been younger. So, she always used to do, she always does like the, oh, when I was at home, she was like, um, it, on Christmas day, on the night when I'm going to bed, she's like, oh, have you had a good Christmas? Like, yeah, you got everything you wanted. Yeah, yeah. All that kind of stuff. And ever since when I was like five and six, I always wanted a Mr. Frosty. Now, if you don't know what Mr. Frosty was, it's basically like this this like snowman which you put loads of ice in, which you could crush and you could make your own slush puppy and stuff like that. So it's a little, I still love slush puppies. Anyway, yeah. and I always used to like say from the age of five, like, oh, I really want one. And and then, and it was always kind of like a running joke with my mum, like growing up, I was like, but yeah, but you know, um, you had a good Christmas card, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I never got a Mr. Frosty, I did have one, like that, kind of like Joe. Anyway, so that was like going on until like, you know, 10, 11, 12, you know, 13, and I kind of forgot about it. And then on when I was 24, my mum got me a Mr. Frosty for Christmas, and I was so <laughs> happy, I was like, oh my god! I remember like, That's putting so a picture funny. up on Instagram, I'll try and find it, you actually. Like, I was literally there just like, yes, I finally got one! After, That's so I was like, good. cheers mum, 15 years later, you know, <laughs> but yeah. I like that yeah. when it's a running joke. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's just that's good. Yeah. So that's probably like one of it. That and I got a quarter pipe for when I was like fourteen. Ah. Like a custom made one. You know what a quarter pipe is? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's for skateboarding. Yes. It is a half pipe in half. It is. And then I nearly broke my face on it, but besides <laughs> that. Yeah. I say the best one I've ever received. It's probably actually it was more to do with the everything else that happened that day. So um, in our house we've got floorboard and you go round in circles and I got rollerblades yeah. and stamp and Stampy got laser quest <laughs> where you have guns and you have the little chest thing on. Right. So let's just say it was a crazy Christmas. <laughs> just around shooting each other. <laughs> it was just a bit crazy and my auntie like Stampy just basically didn't let my auntie sit down like the whole day. <laughs> nice. But yeah. Um what is the worst present you've ever been given? It's <laughs> a jit, right? <laughs> I went out on my uh, when I used to work for the, uh, the company which I won't, I won't mention. Um, I went out on Christmas do, and like all the staff got presents, and all the men got kind of like you know like body wash, shaving gel, that kind of stuff. I got like shaving foam, shampoo, and stuff like that, and I kind of looked at it, I was like, 
So what do you want me to do with this? I mean, she was like, oh my God, Tom, so sorry. Obviously, I was joking. I was just trying to be funny, but she she felt really bad. She went really, like, into apologetic mode and stuff like that. But I was just saying, uh, it wasn't the worst present I ever got. It was just funny because... Because it was yeah. she, she her reaction was just amazing. I, I, I think I made it, I, I, I made her feel really guilty. But it, to me, I was just saying like I've just been hilarious. So to say, to say like, really, shaving foam, shampoo. Where's the conditioner? Well, like you know. Like, how would I make my? How would I do anything? <laughs> so yeah. That's funny though. I'm hilarious. Um, can't really think of a worse one. I guess there's been like the odd thing where it's like I just don't really like it there very much like I've, I've been given like so much like jewelry and things that i'm just like i don't think i'm ever gonna wear that mm -hmm. oh i can not think of the worst the worst thing ever was so this was like a family present to another family right. oh no no oh, no they ever watch this no don't do it don't do it it's not worth it it's not worth it no okay i'm gonna say it i'm not gonna say who it was we gave a we gave a present to someone else <laughs> Driver. And the next year, it gave, it back. gave it back. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was so Your bad. Your mum's going to pull out the internet so you can't make videos anymore. <laughs> no, it was so bad. But it was a really nice present. So they, I think it was like they were going away or something like that to Italy or something like that. And my mum... It was this really nice pizza board with like a pizza cutter and it had it all like these really nice herbs and stuff that went with it and like it was like really oh but it was a really God. fancy one and they gave it back and all the herbs were out of date. Nice. Rude. But yeah, I should not have said what it was because yeah. Like, <laughs> I you know what? This is me telling you we know what you did. <laughs> Could at least change the herbs. Yeah. What is the worst part of Christmas for you? That it has to end. Christmas Eve <laughs> used to be kind of bad after my grandma died. Cause, uh, yeah, because they didn't have that anymore. And yeah. I spent a couple of Christmas Eves by myself, which was pretty bad. Mm, but it's got a lot better. It's got a lot better. Yeah. I Basically, my Christmas um, Eve tradition now is an amazing film. Lots mm. of food and just a, just a, yeah. Oh, my favorite Christmas film is probably Die Hard. I love that film. Mm. Please tell me you've seen Die Hard. You haven't seen Die Hard. Yeah. You, you, I, I know your live voice. Have. You haven't. Who's in it? <laughs> Nettie! <laughs> right. Okay, that's another <laughs> film on the list of things you need to watch. Okay, so it's one of my favorite <laughs> Christmas films. Oh, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger in great film. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have seen that yeah. one. Really? Ah. I would so say. So what's, 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 uh, what's the other Christmas film with Arnold Schwarzenegger in which I'll probably like? Terminator? Oh. Move on to this question. <laughs> but he is in that, isn't Yeah, but it's not a Christmas film! Oh. Don't know Let's just it. move on. You're meant to be talking about the worst part of Christmas. Chris You're talking Christmas about Christmas Eve. Films. Christmas Eve. <laughs> I would say my worst bit of Christmas is. I think it is when it all ends. When the Christmas decorations come down. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Everything just looks so bare and empty. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite memory as a child of Christmas? Probably like just like coming down and seeing all the presents at Father Christmas, but just like having that initial reaction of just opening down and be like, whoa, like kind of like, and the milk had disappeared, and the biscuits, <laughs> yeah, and the carrot, yeah, mm. yeah. I think it's just the magic of it all. Yeah, that's my favorite bit. It's just magical. What does Christmas mean to you? Like, is it? Like, because everyone's got like kind of different kinds of Christmases and what makes it special or whatever. Like, what it's is? Probably just spending time with family, and, and yeah. enjoying yourselves. Yeah. Um, would you ever do Christmas differently? Mm. I wouldn't mind trying Christmas in like I like Christmas when it snows. Like I like a ski lodge. Yeah. That's what I yeah, was thinking. Yeah, like somewhere where it's actual snow outside. Yeah. Because, like, back yeah. in the day when people wanted presents at Christmas, nine times out of ten, they'd mm -hmm. want something like a sledge, which is appropriate for Christmas so they could use it. But, like, now, obviously, it might rain. 
<laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I like yeah. it to be like snow and all that kind of stuff. Tom. Yeah. Are you dreaming of a white See, princess? see how I'm doing this. You like me? I'm dreaming of a white princess. Plays releasing a Christmas <laughs> album this week, fresh on <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> Such classics of <laughs> Jiggle Bells and Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire and the classic <laughs> Cheek Squeak by Nutty Players. Oh. oh yeah, it's not making the noise now. You've probably run out of gas. <laughs> um, with Christmas and doing it differently, it was to the point that um, last year there was talks of going over to Stampy's for Christmas, and it was like, no, <laughs> we do it in the family home every year. Yeah. <laughs> no change, please. We are like we we are all always together every Christmas. The only time one of us has been missing is when my sister went to Thailand over Christmas. How dare she? Like otherwise, we and we skyped. How dare you, Rachel? Instead. Think of your yeah. family. I know she left us on Christmas Day. How could she? But yeah, no, we've I've even when we've been with like various partners or whatever, like it's always been we have Christmas together at our house. Mm. Yeah, I've never done Christmas yet. Don't like change. No, I've never done Christmas yet. <laughs> Families, I've never had. Yeah. Yeah. When is acceptable to start singing Christmas songs? Never. never. Always and forever. That's it. <laughs> Christmas. Oh, tell me a bit about Christmas when you had a job. Christmas when I had a job. Well, I have a job now. But <laughs> when I used to work retail, it wasn't the best of times. <laughs> this was. This was when Tom went full time on YouTube. doing YouTube. Was... Christmas was the main thing of him being like, "Oh my gosh." I don't have to listen to the music all day, every day. So good. The can express it. 12 years. That's probably older than some of you people watching this yeah. are. I'm sounding old. When did this happen? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I was used to listen to Christmas songs for eight to ten hours a day since September. <laughs> On maybe five, six days of the week, I would hear Christmas songs. Yeah. So when I left my job and didn't have to listen to Christmas songs at Christmas, it was the best thing ever. I was like, yeah. And I remember we went to my mum's and dad's. Um, it was before Christmas Day, and my brother put Christmas songs. So I was like, no, no, <laughs> nope. none of this. Nope. It's great, <laughs> honestly. I just on YouTube. I just listen to. I listen to like all my music. Just yeah. it's great. I love it. I love it. I went into a shop the other day. Heard Christmas songs. Mm. Someone started singing. I looked at him. I was like, really. <laughs> I'm not a Grinch. I like Christmas. Just Christmas songs. I probably know them all. It's all subliminal messaging up in my head. Like, literally, it, I probably know them off by heart. It's just scary. Yeah. One of the places I used to work at, um, there, was some, there was a jukebox. Oh, and um, it was like a digital one. And so as soon as it started like coming to Christmas, I would like behind the bar and put on loads of free credits and put on loads of Christmas songs. And all the grumpy customers would get really angry. I am not surprised. <laughs> I'm like, can I do the Christmas decorations? It's full of music. <laughs> No, but it would. Um, I used to be, end up being really ill Christmas Day because that over the Christmas period, all the bars and everything would get busier because no one else would have work, which would mean I would have more work to do than normal, and I would end up like doing insane hours. Like it would be a bit crazy. Like I, w I was doing like fourteen-hour days. I would go to. Um, and I would like be finishing work at like kind of like three in the morning, yeah. Christmas Eve. And so Christmas Day, I'll be absolutely shattered. I'll just end up like passing out, like just like, yeah, just like random naps on the floor it, whilst everyone's playing games. I used to hate work, working Boxing Day or Christmas Eve because everyone was like, oh, it's only getting lots of Christmas. Yeah. Great Christmas, two weeks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, two weeks off, really. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I've, yeah. Yeah. We both of us, both Tom and I, have like have never ever had a job where like the days that everyone else gets excited for or like whether new it's year's like eve. christmas holidays new year's eve yeah like all of those days even bank holidays and stuff like that yeah. all the days that everyone looks forward to like oh the thingy bank holiday and all this like that just means we're going to be busier um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and it and even now like obviously with youtube that's like that's an everyday job yeah. like it doesn't matter what day of the week it is or whether it's bank holiday like it doesn't make a difference to yeah. us like i've never ever had a job where it's and i've never ever had a job where they've had a christmas party not oh, really 
Um, yeah. No, I've had a Christmas part meal. Of... I've never had a party. Yeah. yeah same. See, part of me wants to work in an office just so we can have an office Christmas party. You too. If you want to get a Christmas party going in my house, that'd be good. Yeah. No, but do you know what yeah. I mean? Like that kind of like a really cheesy party, like where it's like no one really, really overly wants to be there and it's a bit awkward, but I want to be there. That is awkward party coming 2017. <laughs> Playing my new album. The no, second album. <laughs> First one's gone platinum by then. Cheek Squeak at number one for three consecutive months. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, that is all we've got time for today. This has been a super long episode. I do apologise for that. I hope you have enjoyed the Christmas talks. Though. Yes. <laughs> My words stop working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Tom, I think to prove to everyone you're not a Grinch, you should sing a little bit of the Christmas Jingle song bells, netty spells, cheek squeak all the way. There you go. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a netty. Precisely. No, because it's more <laughs> than these girls jingle all the way. There you go. That was beautiful. See. <laughs> see, I'm going to drop my so, mixed here next year. Yeah. Tom's trying to, you can support my live nights. We're going to start a you Kickstarter. Support act. Get Nettie out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me, I'm just going to be a hype man. Like, she sucks. I mean, she's great. She's great. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Remember, if you play one spot, let the court cool down a little bit first. And remember, then... be careful with the yeah, very young ones when you're playing the Age of Conga. Like, <laughs> Conga of Age. Conga of Age. Conga of age. <laughs> I can imagine that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Conquer of age. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next week. <gasps> Bye. Big and little thoughts. We need a Christmas outro, so leave one in the comment section below. <laughs>